So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to soften our leaf. Um, the, the cells aren't very permeable, that means it doesn't allow a lot of the iodine solution to get into it if we just put it on straight like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat it in about 100 milliliters of water, uh, just so it's completely submerged in the water, for a few minutes, just a couple of minutes, um, just to soften it up a little bit and then we can move on to the next stage. So put your leaf into some water that we can then heat over the Bunsen burner just for a couple of minutes. Once you've seen a little bit of steam coming out and you're, you're satisfied that it's, it's warmed up enough, you can take your leaf out so you can switch off your Bunsen burner. We can light it again later for the next part. And we're going to take our leaf out and move on to the next stage. Right, so the next step of the practical is we need to decolorize our leaf. And we're going to do that using ethanol, uh, which is basically pure alcohol. And we only need a, a small amount, so just enough to submerge the leaf in it. So if I measure out 25 milliliters, that should be more than enough. And that's going to go straight into our boiling tube. So ethanol goes into our boiling tube. Now, when we're doing this, we've got to be com completely, completely sure that no ethanol has dripped anywhere, gone onto the outside of anything because as it says on the bottle, ethanol is highly flammable, okay? And obviously working with a Bunsen burner, that could cause some problems. So just make sure there's no spillages anywhere. If there are any spillages, at least your Bunsen burner's off from before. That's why you need to make sure it's off already. Um, wipe up any spillages, wipe up any residues on the outside of your boiling tube before you start the next step. Once that's all safe, you can pop um, your leaf into your boiling tube and just make sure it goes right down to the bottom using your tongs, there we go. And then you can put that straight into the conical flask or beaker that you were using earlier. Once that's all set up, this is the next step. So what's going to happen now is we'll light our Bunsen burner and it's going to start to decolorize um, the, the leaf. The leaf color, the pigment, the chlorophyll is going to come out of the leaf and go straight into the ethanol. So let's do that now. Okay, so about an hour, leaf should be well and truly decolorized. I've switched um, the Bunsen burner off. You don't need any more. Um, it still boils without the Bunsen burner. The heat of the water is still above that 78 degrees needed to, needed to boil the ethanol. Okay, so out comes our leaf. And as we can see, pretty much all of the green pigment has gone from it now. So it's a very, very white, or, or colourless um, leaf we've got. So we're going to test that with iodine for starch. So we'll pop it onto our tile over here. And there we have it, proof that leaves contain, oops, that leaves contain quite a bit of starch in them, thanks to photosynthesis.